Hey dudes, what's up? Jack Sablon here, and today I am going to show you the latest and greatest game mode. Well, greatness is a matter of opinion, but I really like it. Uh, of the Shopo Network, and I'm talking, of course, about Crafty Bomber. It is a Minecraft version of the old uh, the Bomberman game. Oh, I used to love playing uh, Bomberman on uh, Nintendo 64. Oh my god. I was so good at that game. Cause my little brother was just... He could not grasp the concept of how to play, so I was immediately the greatest Bomberman player on the planet by default. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to quickly show you here uh, the game mode. It, it's really quite interesting. I love some of the basic features of this. And uh, first I'm going to show you... Uh, over here, if, of course, there are tutorial signs everywhere. You can go back here and this will tell you how to play. There's signs on either side here that will tell you how to create your own custom arena. You just do slash CB build, and then this thing will pop up in your chat and it'll give you directions. You'd be like, uh, you just type slash CB crafty bomber or lower it to a CB, and then uh, you do, for example, floor. You do the block type, and you can make it out of like ice or bedrock or you know basically anything. There are some blocks that are disabled, but for the most part, you can make your walls, your floors, your breakable blocks, anything out of basically anything you want. You can even customize how many players and the percentage chance that items you're going to drop will be. Uh, see, I'm just going to go in a random quick join game here because I tried making my own game before I started recording and I made the floor out of ice and the walls out of cacti. Oh my god, <laughs> and I made the map really small. Oh, that game took forever. It literally took like 45 minutes. Uh, quick join the match here, and this will put you into a default, uh, default arena, which is just like stone brick and then like wooden planks here. I'm of course using a resource pack. I'm using Glimmar's steampunk pack, so things will look a bit differently than it will for you, but concepts the same. Waiting for players to join here, but essentially what you do is you spawn with uh, an inventory full of TNT, you place TNT, it blows up these destructible blocks, which in this case are wooden planks, and uh, there is a chance that when you destroy a wooden plank block, it will drop a power-up, which can increase any of these stats over here on the right. It will decrease your bomb delay, it won't give you any more lives, but it can increase the bomb size, your number of bombs, and how fast you sprint. Or rather, how long you can sprint in this case. But uh, <sighs> quick join, people! All right, finally found a match with enough players. Here we go. It's about to start. The timer hit zero. Come on, come on, come on! All right, so we place a bomb here. Go around the corner to a safe distance. Wait for the ticking to go away, boom. Ooh, got plus one sprint. That means I can sprint a little bit longer. Ooh, look at that moon. Alright. Did we get anything? No? Place another bomb. Wait a few seconds. Ooh, that guy's using the third person mode. I should do that. So, if you press Q by default, or whatever it is to drop items uh, for you that you have bound or whatever. By default this queue. You go up into the sky in this third person mode. This is a fantastic feature. You can direct your NPC down here by left clicking. Ooh, there's power up. Plus one bomb delay. Alright, you can right click and place a bomb and then uh, move him. It's great for tactical. You see, I can see all the other players from up here. I can see that nothing dropped there. Ooh, JK. You got plus one bomb size. Because the bomb radius is now two blocks, so the explosion will go to here instead of there. So I'm going to go over here, place a bomb. I'm going to go back into first person mode because I think it's a lot easier, at least in my opinion. A lot of people prefer third person mode. I prefer first person. I highly suggest you try out them both because they're both, they both have advantages and disadvantages. And they're certainly, ooh, whoa, look at all these power ups. Somebody must have died here. When you tell you drop all your power-ups. Oh, good lord. Nope. Get out of here. Nope. I may have just accidentally blocked myself. And killed myself. So That was dumb. Why did I do that? I lost all my power-ups. Son. Just block there. Drop 
Try to blow up that guy. Yeah! Got him. He had plus two bomb delay. Oh, that's the virus. Do not want. Mm -mm -mm. No, someone gave me the virus. Son of a... Alright, give it to that guy. There's some power-ups over here. Sprint. And bomb size. Fantastic. You can see in the chat, it tells me exactly what my uh, power-ups are. And it says they're on the right in the scoreboard thing. Also, what they do. Oh, crap. Someone turned to corner me in here. Nope. No, 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 no. Do not want... Let's get a tactical view here, shall we? Ooh. 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 There's a lot of unexploded blocks there. Oh, Lord. Oh, I got that guy. <laughs> great. That was great. Awesome. Put a bomb here. It's a safe place. Did I get anything? Ooh, almost blew myself up. Got sprint power up. And a third bomb. Oop. Oh, a fourth bomb. Good lord. What am I going to do with four bombs? Probably blow up everyone. <laughs> it's a rhetorical question. What did I just pick up? Plus one sprint and another... Five bombs? Really? Oh, lord, look at this! This plethora. Oh, my. Sweet baby Jeebus. I have eight bombs. Are you kidding me? What am I going to do with eight bombs? Place them everywhere, of course. Just run around like a maniac. Probably will blow myself up in the process. No! So you can, uh, you can punch people. It doesn't do any damage. But you can, uh, maneuver them into corners and stuff and try and trap them. No. Get out of here. Come on. Yeah! Three remaining. Get some! Oh, I blew myself up! No! <laughs> oh, dang it. But you can see, uh, you can see the obvious appeal to this game. Uh, for me, it's, it's equally nostalgia as it is fun. Because uh, I used to play this game all the time on Nintendo 64. But it's also, it's a great game. Ooh, I won. Guy killed himself. I win. Woohoo! So, so it's basically you just blow up stuff, pick up power ups, and you're the last man standing. Uh, it's great. It's a great party game. You can get uh, the maximum number of players in a match is four. So if you can get four friends, or rather three friends and yourself, into a match and into like a mumble or team speak or Skype call or something, it's great fun just to hear people just yelling at each other and talking trash and just taunting each other and stuff. It's fantastic. It's great fun. Each match on a default map is typically 10 to 30 minutes. I mean, they're not super long. I mean, 30 minutes would be pushing it if, like, people were dragging it out on purpose. When I played a custom map earlier, uh, I made the floor out of ice and the walls out of cacti. Uh, so that match lasted forever because every time somebody died, their, their power-ups dropped on the floor and slid on the ice and then destroyed themselves under the cacti. So by the end of it, it was just two of us left and there were no power-ups, so we just had default bombs, and we ended up just punching each other into the cacti to kill each other. It took like 45 minutes. I do not suggest doing that, unless you really, really hate yourself. <laughs> but uh, that was uh, that was Crafty Bomber. Uh, let me know in the comment section below if you have any uh, comments or questions or anything like that. Oh, I love this game. I'm going to be spending so much time on it. Uh, when Laser first showed us the prototype of this game, I was like, yes! This is amazing! Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Feel free to hit that like and subscribe and all that jazz, and uh, I will catch you for the next one. Bye-bye!